In this video, I will show you how to make your hexapod go fast. The short answer is you need two things, faster servos and a faster gate cycle. If you want your hexapod to walk fast, you need fast servos. For example, here I have swapped the 6 Coxaw servos with faster but lower torque servos. Based on the spec from the AliExpress website, the new servos are around 30% faster. And as you can see, the speed difference is very noticeable. I could potentially make the hexapod much faster by switching all the 18 servos to these other high-speed servos that have more than double the speed compared to my current servos. But those are more expensive, and I wanted to do some tests before committing to the full purchase. I will tell you what I think about these new servos later in this video. Once you switch to the faster servos, you also need to increase the gate cycle speed which is very easy if you're using the Chica server app. In the latest version of the app, you can adjust a lot of the parameters for the different modes in the configuration file. For example, as you can see here, for this video, I've set the speed factor parameter for the race mode to three, which means the movement speed will be three times the normal. Similarly, if you have slower servos, you should use a smaller value to limit the movement speed. I will go over all the new features in the config in another video. Well, that was it. And that's really all you need to do to have a fast moving hexapod. I've been using these new servos for over six weeks now. And even though being able to walk fast looks really cool, I've found that there are also some serious downsides to using these high speed servos. The biggest issue that I noticed is that these servos have a lot of overshoot, which is probably related to their very quick reaction time. I was able to stop the overshoot by applying a lot of friction, which isn't very desirable because it puts a lot of unnecessary load on the servo and reduces its lifespan. But even then, I noticed that the overshoot is still happening while the servo moves, which makes any gradual and smooth movement impossible. You can clearly see the overshoot in this slow motion footage. So it seems like I really have to make a choice between fast and smooth. But I really need the smooth moves for the kind of application that I have in mind for my hexapod. Another big issue that I see with using these servos is that RC servos are not really suitable for fast walking and dynamic moves such as jumping. And because of the huge reduction rate, they are very bad in absorbing impacts while walking fast or running. That's actually the main reason that I've recorded most of my fast walking footage on the carpet. So if you end up using these servos and want to run your hexapod fast, be ready to deal with a lot of servo failures and bent gears. The low reduction motors that are being used on robot dogs are much better for dynamic moves on a walking robot. So considering all of these factors, I decided to go back to the good old trustable 35 kg servos for my hexapod. But if you want your hexapod quick, now you know what you need to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.